Hello everyone, today we have new video review and as you can see this time we are going to check fresh release from special hobby That's a 170 second scale kit which copies P40K1-5 Warhawk And as you can see that's a special short fuzzy version, you can see it on the box art And this is a commercial sample which you will get if you buy this kit So now we are going to open it and take a look inside so as you can see packaging is quite typical, we have this nice box art on the front side and there is also uh, BF109 going down, maybe just because of this guy on P40K. Box size here you can see comparison with my hand, it's not that big. And on the side we have some information about the manufacturer, so this kit is made in Czech Republic of course, it is made by Special Hobby. And from the other side we have also some safety information that kit includes or contains small and sharp parts so be careful with this so let's open it that's a top opening box but while i'm opening it let me remind you that we are given money for the new photo and video equipment you can help us by pressing donate button on our website or maybe by buying some of this equipment because for now we can need we really need tripod which will hold our camera in, in place. So here you can see what we have inside. We have assembly menu on the top and then we have all sprues packed into the same plastic bag and separate decal sheet. So let's check them one by one. First I would like to check Fizzwatch sprues. Actually all sprues because they are packed into the same plastic bag. And it is interesting to see how short Fizzwatch version is copied. But as far as I can see, it is easy because FizzWatch comes on the separate plastic sprue. So let's start from the FizzWatch. Here it is. As you can see, here we have quite simple parts division. And in my opinion, it will be easy to assemble those parts together. Note that the left half features also tail segment, while the right one is molded without it. So obviously it will serve as a guiding element. And now let's zoom out. I will bring this sprue closer so that you can see it in a full light. Now you can see it, I think. Yes, now it should be visible. So as you can see, we have recessed panel lines. We also have separately molded exhausts and separately molded propeller parts, obviously. The same can be said about the canopy. And let's flip it over. Inside we have position pins here and no cockpit detailing whatsoever. Uh, so I can guess that cockpit will be assembled out of separate parts. But at least we have position pins which will help us with easier assembly of this kit. Then we have transparent sprue which is packed into the separate plastic bag. Such package will help us avoid possible scratches on the parts. So it's a Definite advantage. And here you can see these parts. Uh, of course, we have separate canopy parts so that you can replicate open cockpit on your model. And molding quality seems to be fine, but masks are not included, so be careful with this and be ready to cut them with your own hands. Next, we have wing parts. So let's place them here like this, and then we will focus the camera. Okay, so now you can see it. Uh, the same level of detailing as you can see, RSS panel lines. Also, we have molded in flaps and um, flaps and ailerons. And ailerons will serve as a guiding element because as you can see, they are present on the top half, but they are not present on the bottom half. Um, also note that here we have cockpit floor, which will be detailed with separately molded parts. One piece tail wings here, also frontal section of the radiator and separately molded rudder. Let's bring it closer so that you can see this cockpit floor which is quite interesting in my opinion. Here it is. Of course you can buy also some P set for better detailing but that's what you get out of the box and here you can see also wing detailing with recess panel lines and riveting in place. Let's flip it over. As you can see here, wing edges will serve as a guiding element together with ailerons. We don't have position pins inside those wing parts, but we have minor wheel wells detailing. And 
here you can see tail wings which have recess panel lines and look quite good okay next we have resin ports for resin ports there are only few of them uh, two to be precise so here they are and you can see there are sizes 170 second scale so they are smaller than my fingertip and next we have last but not the least this grey plastic sprue which is dedicated to various elements here you can see it so for example landing gear wheels propellers several types also several types of pilot seats dashboards here we have separately molded cockpit walls also here is a propeller hub landing gear legs everything is here and molding quality seems to be fine i will bring it closer so that you can see these parts in detail so here you can see for example cockpit walls this look really nice and again i remind you that you can get also pe for extra detailing here you can see uh, first type of this landing gear wheels actually that's not the first type because as you can see, landing gear wheels should be assembled out of two halves, so be careful and not, don't forget to use the right one. Here we also have halves for the fuel tanks, separately molded exhausts, and two types of propellers. Here you can see tail landing gear strut. Here we have also two pilot seat types. The same can be said about dashboards here. And that's pretty much all what I what else I can show you. Note that we have also third dashboard type here, landing gear legs here, and also several types of the radiators. And next we have decals sheet. Decal sheet comes packed into the separate plastic bag, so just give me a second to open it and we'll take a closer look as well. And as far as you can see, it is printed in cartograph. So let's bring it closer so that you can see all the symbols. Okay. So as you can see, even stencils are included here. I don't see any cockpit decals, which is quite surprising. But at least we have here, for example, seat belts, which will be copied with, can be copied with decals. I mean, I would rather advise to get some P set for this set, for this model, in order to have a more realistic appearance, but it will be up to you what you will use on your model. As for the decals, I can say that they are really nice and they will look good once you apply all the decals on your model. And last component of this kit is this thing. So it's assembly manual, obviously, as you can see, it is printed in color. And what we have here is short history note on the first page. Then we go to the parts map, paints chart. Assembly process starts from the cockpit. And we continue by joining fuselage halves. Then we have also wing assembly. Here we join fuselage with wing, landing gear, propeller. And in total you have to perform 12 steps, so be careful with this. Here you can see first marking guide. This one is for the uh, pilot from 64th Fighter Squadron, 57 Fighter Group, uh, which was based in Hani Main, Tunisia, May 1943. As you can see, it has this nice Scorpio on the nose section. Here we have Soviet aircraft. This one was uh, flown by Kuznetsov. And as you can see, it comes from winter 1943 it was on northwestern front and that might be an interesting option to copy for some of the models. here we have classic aircraft with this shark mouth and this one was serving in kunmin china december 1943 and here we have fourth marking option again with quite interesting mouth let's say this one it comes from india 1944 that's a stencil strip, um, let's say, placement guide. And on the last page we have resin sets for your kit. Even though this is a short fuselage version, still you can use some of this resin. And as you can see, you can upgrade wheels, you can upgrade pilot seat, you can upgrade also undercarriage, control surfaces, engine can be replicated in this kit. And of course, cockpit 
together with armament and radio set. So it will be up to you what you install on your model. As for the kit, it's already available on official Special Hobby website. You can get it directly there. And of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, press the like button and subscribe to our YouTube channel or like our Facebook group if you are watching it on the Facebook. And of course, I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.